Okay, hello everybody. So, what we're going to see today? How to fix a problem with the glow plugs in an engine. So, this we have a 1.9 TDI engine. Uh, here you see is a glow plugs. In here we have a glow plug relay and uh, everybody thinks that this relay is for uh, engine glow plugs. But actually this relay is for the glow plugs which ones is located on a cooling system. So as you can see down through the pipes, there's a three glow plugs. They are located in the cooling system and they heat up a coolant. So this relay uh, do the job for these glow plugs. What we want to find is uh, where's the relay and the fuse for uh, glow plugs for engine. So if we watch the electronic wiring, in wiring we can see the uh, four glow plugs, one, two, three, four, all of them is grounded to ground, 31 is a ground, so these closed plugs is controlled by a plus, by the relay, and by the ECU, and by the outside temperature. So, as you can see, you have a four glow plugs, so first what you have to check basically is a fuse a fuse f3 this fuse is the first one in the line with the relay this one we have a relay so uh, relay is connected to the plus so this 13 and 87 is a uh, big contacts and they are connected to the mine plus which one all the time comes from the battery, it's 13 and this relay is being controlled by ECU and uh, plus from the ignition so when you turn on the ignition plus goes right into the relay coil relay coil is uh, react with the magnetic field and connect these connectance, connections and, and then electric goes plus goes right through the relay through the fuse and heats up the glow plugs. So is the glow plugs not working? You have to find the fuse and you have to find the relay to check if they are working okay. So I will show where they are in the car. All the relays is located in the driver's side under the steering wheel. Here you go. You have to take off the cover, which one covers the fuses and the relays. Uh, in the cover you can see the marks and all things like that, what the fuse means. Um, further in you can see uh, I already took off a uh, relay little box uh, this is how it looks like when it's on uh, this relay is 103 so basically this relay is uh, doing a job with the glow plugs if we get the relay out I already took the little box off as you can see here this is the schematics how it works there is a relay number and we can pull the relay out here you go. This is the relay. These two big contacts in here, one and two, is a big one. There is 13 and 87, as we saw in uh, schematics, in the wiring. And this is we need for uh, glow plugs. So electric uh, big ampers go right through these contacts. And these two contacts we have for a coil. As you can see in here is a coil which one holds the magnetic field and these two is uh, to control a coil so when the coil gets magnetic field it, you have a two contacts so contacts close and uh, electric flows through the big uh, contacts so in here you can see so normally you just can put it right back in and if it's gonna work you can press with the hand the contacts and we're pressing the contacts but make sure you switch on ignition so when we switch on ignition ignition is on then you can press it down and we see there is a uh, no reaction you can see there is a uh, no electric flow so you can test it with the light but I already know then the relay do nothing uh, that's all because fuse is gone and where to find the fuse then? This is a problem. So everybody try to find where is the fuse. And the fuse is behind of a relay block. 
so you have to remove all this panel off it's not a big deal there is a little screws is one in here another one in there and there yeah. so you just remove uh, this cover and you will be able to get closer to the relay box okay let's do this okay so what we done we remove a panel now we are more closer to the our fuse okay you you have to just pull this clip away as you can see like this and you have to do the same on another side the same you have a clip just remove these clips and then you have to lift it up and pull it out just like that and get this thing a little bit more down we are getting closer now to our well there is another piece of and there should be somewhere a fuse somewhere just right behind them okay I'll get my light and should probably gonna show so okay we're getting more deeper in and if you can see just right behind of the wires just in there as you can see there is a glow plug fuse and we can see it's already burned out and it's too big two big wires with a big diameter for a big current is uh, is uh, connected and we have to get this fuse out so let's try to do this probably you have to just pull it out just like that here you go yeah it's it's nasty it's blowed up definitely yeah we can see in there even it's 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 completely blowed so we are very lucky then we have some old Volkswagen uh, Passat for our project with the Golf uh, MK1 so now we need a fuse and we can go in and try to find it in this case you see everything is already taken out and it's very simple now as you can see there we have our fuse just where it was here we go just behind the wires yeah this one so this one is okay 50 amps yeah it's a very big fuse for our glow plugs let's pull that one out and put in our car so as you can see what you have to do to change this fuse actually it's not the big deal but anyway a lot of people don't know where it is so I hopefully video was helpful and it, if it was just leave a comment uh, probably you can ask some question if you like uh, if I didn't show something in this video and give a likes thanks for watching and see you next time for some nice videos interesting